next, it is a UFC welterweight championship showdown between Leon Edwards and Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Masvidal is seven years his senior. The rest is nearly identical. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 16 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the challenger, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Cut that down. Oh. Standing, brutal knee to the body. 
Oh, straight right. Nice shot. Masvidal gets caught with that punch. Clipped with a right hand counter. Well, eventually you know he's gonna turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He lands a switch knee. Oh, another knee right to the midsection. Gamebred gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Just a slip there. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, is that a big knee? The body will see if he can follow up. Oh! Nice. Great shot. Great shot. Keep the pressure on. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, elbow from the clinch. Man. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, wow. Head kick. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. That's a big strike right there. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Gamebred. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Oh! to throw at the exact right ball. Oh! So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Single baller tie. Great punch. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Huge block there. Let's go, guys. Work. Try to establish that jab. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Edwards. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. 20 seconds left. It's okay. Use your defense. Use your defense now. Beautiful kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
All right, here we go with the start of round two. Leon Edwards and Jorge Gainbred must be done. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, Masvidal on a real flow here, sticking and moving. Crowd is like just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. You think you got him trapped to try to hit the forward takedown? He evades and escapes. He's a phenomenal fighter. Gamebred gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice loop and punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, that was a oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast, so crisp. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Edwards. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh yeah, no pity pass to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Push him on! Push him on! Hey, scramble, get up! Scramble. Just over two minutes to go. Edwards has got his back now. Let's see what he can do with it. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Attacking armbar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. There it is. So he taps out oh, due to the arm bar man. tonight. High level grappling move. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day. But hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the huddle. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Well, it's one thing to earn a UFC title. It's another thing to get it done emphatically the way he did tonight. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion, your winner by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LaVing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still. So there he 
is. He came in the hunted. He remains as such. Congrats to the still UFC welterweight champion. Big effort out of the incumbent here tonight. He has so much pride in being the UFC champion, and you see it in the effort that he puts in retaining his title. One of the best welterweight champions in UFC history.